What's going on guys, West Coast Florida Fishing here, back with another video, and today we're gonna to be unboxing and upgrading the brand new Stratic FL. So this is the brand new 2019 model of Stratic, and Shimano again hit the nail on the head with this one. I mean, as you can see, we got a six four to one gear ratio. It's got 20 pounds of drag, 7.9 ounces, seven ball bearings, and obviously that's your crank. Got it over at Bet's Fishing Center and I could not be any happier with it, except I haven't opened it because I've been waiting for you guys. So here it is right now. We're opening it up. Oof. You gotta love this thing. It's being wrapped in this plastic. We don't need that. Ooh, God, this thing looks good. Oh, this is awesome. So the upgrades we're going to be doing today is we're going to basically be doing the FK series of upgrades, but we're going to be doing it all in one video. So you guys aren't waiting forever for me to get these videos out. So what that entails is we're going to be doing a power knob on this guy. We're also going to be doing the spool bearing upgrade. And then we're also going to be doing the worm bearing upgrade all in one video. This thing is awesome. Whew, I can't wait to pimp this thing out. I'll let you guys hear it, what it sounds like. So as you guys can tell, it's really smooth. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but there's a channel called Tackle Advisors and he actually breaks this thing down, gets it to bare parts and uh, goes over everything that was upgraded. But I'll give you a small little rundown here. So we've got a little bit of an increased gearing. We got the Micro Module 2 gears in here. Super smooth. That's the stuff used in the Stella. And actually the Sustain, which is the upgrade of this model, does not even have that. So you're getting a big upgrade to the Stella already, and it's passed up the big brother of the Stratic, the Shimano Sustain. Another thing that they did was they actually had the long stroke spool, which is another thing that the Stella has. Um, that's going to increase your casting distance, especially when you're using braid. Uh, smaller diameters won't see as big of a difference as uh, the larger diameter line but you still might be able to see a little 10 yard difference or um, just around 20, 20 feet, 25 feet or so. It's, uh, it all depends upon the type of line you use and everything. Another thing about the spool here is actually in the drag, the drag stack, oh, you won't be able to see it. The drag stack is actually made out of carbon fiber instead of felt washers, which the FK had the felt washers and we actually took the, all those out and replaced them with carbon fiber. So they already did that for, the, for us in this one, which is really great. Because for $200, I mean, this thing's now a workhorse of a reel. And it's going to be even better after we upgrade everything. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and upgrade the handle with another Gomexis handle here. Um, I got a little bit anodized black silver kind of thing going, gunmetal. And that's going to it's gonna be really close to what this has compared to the FK. I got a little bit of the brighter silver on there. So let's go ahead and get right into this. All right, so first things, we'll get this box out of the way. First things first, you got to take off the old one. So a lot of people may think that this one can't be taken off, but in fact, this is just a case that actually protects the screw head and everything. So we're going to try to get this out here. Don't know where I put my pick tool, so we're just going to have to use the screwdriver. See, just pops right on out. So got that out, and underneath, it's a little Phillips head. So we're gonna go ahead and change out our bit. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just get right in there. All right, now that we did that, we can just pull up and everything comes out just as the old one did. As you can see, this thing is now just a rubber handle, completely empty. 
All right, so we're left with the bushing and then the original bearing that was in the reel. And then obviously you have your screw with your, uh, with your blue Loctite that wasn't supposed to be taken off. We don't follow directions here at West Coast Florida Fishing. Okay. So this is what the knob looks like. It's really nice. I like it for sure. Let's go ahead and move this back a little. Nice. Okay. So we're going to go in our little bag of doohickeys that came with this thing, and we're going to go ahead and get another bearing out. There's our bearing. We will take off this bushing. That's the bearing going on in place of it. So that one's gonna go at the bottom. Just like that, slide right on. And this guy, go right on top. Then the original bearing and shim are going right back in. Go one at a time here. Just as smooth, yeah. All right, let's try to get that in there. There we go. See it sit right in there, and then I go ahead and screw it in. And that is it. You can see that we still have a ton of play here. Actually, I just forgot to put the bearing in there. So I got the bearing in there now. So now we just gotta slide the bearing in. All right, looked like it seated properly there that time. Go ahead and put that in there. Much better. Yep, perfect. All right. Just stick this on. Perfect. And we are set. And that is the Gomexis handle on an FL Stratic. Wow, that looks good. All right. So the next upgrade we're going to be doing is the spool bearing, which will be pretty easy. Gonna go ahead and take this off. Excuse my dog barking in the background. Okay, so you can see that bushing right in there. We're just gonna take off the spool washers and then this um, spool retainer that's gonna keep everything down. We're gonna replace that blood boy. First things first, take off all these spool washers. Should be able to just shimmy them all off. There we go. And what we need to get to is that little hole right in there. So now you take your T-Torque 0.9 and you just get in there and just unscrew that. It'll fit right in, no problem. I have heard of some people using a small flat head, but I wouldn't risk it. These I got a pack of five of these for five bucks. So, all right. Now that that's out, this whole thing just slides right off. You can set that aside for now. We're just going to be looking at this. Take that off. Set that aside. And this bushing is what we're replacing. So you just set that down, and then we're going to grab our bearing, and also. This thing fell onto my table. Don't forget to put that back down. Cause that actually holds everything together real nice and tight. All right, this is a bag I got from work. Uh, just some, it's a bag that I had. I put two of the bearings that were in here. 
I'll have the bearing number if you want to replace this yourself in the video description. And then that's also the worm gear bearing that we'll be replacing a little bit later. And we're going to go ahead and just push this on. It's going to slide right on top. And then you put your clip on. All right, and you put your clip on and you're all set. Now you put that back in there. That clip just rides in that groove. So you put the top of the clip right in there. Go back to your Stratic, slide that on. Everything will line right back up just as it's supposed to. You just put your little screw right back in there. There you go, just tighten that all the way in. You put your spool washers right back on. That'll keep your line lay laying straight and flat on the reel or on the spool. So don't forget to put those back on. So you will have a very bad time with my best friend, wind knots. All right, so everything's back on and we are all set. That is it, we're gonna put this back on. And there we go. So that's two more bearings so far in this short little video. One being the spool washer, the other one being in the handle to make that spin like crazy. Now we're gonna go for a third and get in this worm gear here and replace that little bearing with a Stella part. So I'll get to that right now. All right guys, so next we're gonna be going after that worm gear bearing. I guess we're going after the bushing and replacing it with the bearing. But to get into this screw right here, you're gonna need a torque head six bit. And that just comes out pretty easily. That's the only thing holding this in, which is great. All right, so it looks like we have a bunch of grease around this screw right there. And that's also the retaining plate. So we're gonna go ahead and be pretty careful with this next part. I'm gonna switch back to my Phillips head. Just take that on out. Gotta be careful, as you can see, that bushing popped out from underneath the plate and the plate pushed up. And the reason being was I was pushing on the spool. And you gotta be careful if you push on the shaft, the main shaft that runs all the way up through this whole thing will come out and my gosh, it is a headache to put back in. Um, if you don't put it in exactly correct, everything will mess up. And I actually found this out when I did my FK because um, I realized that I didn't do it correctly and I had to redo everything. So I had to take it to work and uh, one of the guys actually had to help me with that. So be careful when you're pushing up on that. I had to take apart the entire reel so I had to get this case off and line everything back up. So like I said, just be careful. Still do this at home for a smoother reel, but definitely want to be careful. Okay. All right. So you can see that bushing in there. We're going to replace it with this bearing right here. This is not the part number, but it is a bag with a part number on it. Let's go ahead and get this set around. There we go. All right. So we have this on standby. You don't need a shim like I had in the last one. I don't I don't think, I don't see any reason why you would. Um, I just got told that I should. So I couldn't find the part number for this guy. And I've actually had multiple comments asking what the part number was for the shim for this. I just can't find it. So I'm sorry for you guys that watched the last video and had that question. So I am gonna push up slightly on the spool just to raise up that bushing just a tiny bit. Now that it's up, I've actually let go of the spool and it's fallen back down and this bushing is out. Almost, anyway. Nice, okay. So, 
All right. Let's see if I can get these out. Yep, there we go. Just like that. Simple enough. As you can see, that that actually is the worm gear right there, that little brass spot. So we're going to take the bearing, plop it right on in, and it fits perfectly. So now we're just going to put everything back just the way we found it. Oh, there's a hair on it. <laughs> Perfect. Houston, we have landed. Screw it in, all nice and tight. And the only thing left to do is to put all this back on and put this last screw right back in. Don't forget that's a T-torque screw like I just did. Can actually set this down now because we did screw everything back in. Finally, I have a second hand, and we're just going to put it right back. And I think we're going to hand start it. Yeah, that's close enough, I think. Yeah. All right. Screw that boy back in. All right. And. We now have a completely pimped out Stratic FL 2019 C3000 in our hands. And that took upwards of maybe 25 minutes and the whole thing is completely upgraded. Obviously this video is gonna be shorter than that, but everything is done on this reel. We've pimped it out completely. The only thing left to do is slap some line on it and use it. Tomorrow I'm going out trolling for grouper and if we see anything on the shipping buoys, we're actually going to toss some DOA shrimp at the triple tail or cobia that we see. And we're going to try our luck with that. So if you guys enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up. It took a lot of time to do this video and it takes a lot of time to edit these kinds of videos. So if you guys do like what I do, thumbs up really helped me out and it really lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content. If you are enjoying the content and you have watched some other videos, go ahead and feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. I post videos and try to post videos all the time, and I'm going to be getting better at it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, this is the schematic. You guys can, can go ahead and hit pause to find the part numbers you were looking for. Obviously, you know what we replaced because you're at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Tight lines.